Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe down below, join the fam, love to have you here. I'm super excited for today's video, you guys. Um, I'm going to be taking Instagram pictures with my friend Maddie, so I thought I would just bring you guys along the whole process. So as of right now, I'm getting ready. It is 1.57 and I have to be at Maddie's house at 3.30. Can we do that in time? Um, we're gonna find out, I don't know. Let's just like go ahead and get to it. We can usually get ready really fast believe it or not it can be a talent of mine if I really just put my head to it of course I'm gonna do some foundation because I fake tan and my face is obviously wider than my body so that will not photograph well <laughs> I don't feel like I want to focus on my makeup more so for these photos I kind of want to do like focus more on my clothes that I'm going to be wearing because that's kind of just my main focus right now is just my clothes and fashion so beauty blender now I'm going in with some concealer, obviously, because I need to... Oh my god, I almost put that in my eyeball. No, I need to obviously look alive in these pictures. I only have three outfits picked out. Maddie has five, so I feel like I should get two more, but we'll see what I have time for. It's like also warm outside today, and I did not think it was going to be this hot. I think it's like almost 80 degrees outside. What? All of my outfits that I did have picked out were kind of like fall and for colder weather. Um, more concealer here, and then here, and here. There you go. So this is my struggle with taking Instagram pictures. Let me know if any of you guys have the same struggle. I will sit there on Pinterest and find like ideas of how I want my Instagram pictures to look and to be. And then I will come up with ideas of how I could recreate that look and like a place that I could do it at. So like say I see a picture on Instagram or Pinterest of a girl sitting in front of a wall and like she shows off like her shoes or her shirt or whatever the hell it is. I'm like, okay, I can do that. And then when time comes to go take the pictures, I like, blank out like I my mind just leaves the chat I'm like I have no idea what my vision is for this photo shoot and I don't know what pictures I want nor do I know where I want to have them or what I want to wear and it's just like this whole dilemma that's like what's going through my mind right now <sighs> I don't know um now I'm going in with my Kylie powder and put some of that some of here some of there um, I don't necessarily bake my face anymore. I'm just kind of like let that sit there until I'm done putting powder all over the rest of my face basically because I like to look like a ghost. Casper is like kind of what I'm shooting for. Yeah, I just think he's pretty cute. So I just thrive to be like him. <laughs> I feel like I've been stuck on the same bronzer. I use the Kat Von D. Honestly, I love it. So I'm not mad that I'm still using it. Get that double chin. I love me a good nose contour. Um, I've been doing it every single day. Well, when I wear makeup, I don't wear makeup every single day, but when I do wear makeup, I always contour my nose because I just think it's so cute. I don't know if you think it's cute, but I think it's cute. So I'm, I'm gonna keep doing it. Apply the blush, but apply it here so we can look youth, 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 youthful. Normally lately I've been doing silt brows, but unfortunately I just don't feel like doing that right now so I'm just gonna do some brow gel and hope for the best but soap does work way better than brow gel I will have to say I'm pretty sure I have one eyebrow that's higher than the other one I think it's this one I think my this whole side of my face is actually just slightly higher you know what it's fine for shadow um when like I kind of want to look put together but I just don't really feel like putting myself together I just do some bronzer on my lid Instead of using that bronzer though, I like to go in with my Hoola bronzer. It's just, it's just a little bit more brown to me. Since it is kind of like fall vibes and all my outfits are pretty much fall, I think I'm going to do like a little brown lippy moment, if you will. It's 2.18. I think we're doing okay. Are we doing good? I think so. I'm going to do a little bit of a wing moment, but nothing too, nothing too crazy. I just do it with shadow because less crazy. I don't know. <sighs> this eye is always... You know what? I just have to just shh. So even you know what? It just it, it is what it is. I haven't been wearing false lashes recently, number one, because I'm a lash tech and when I wear false lashes and I do lashes all day, it burns the hell out of my eyeballs and all I want to do is rip my lashes off and scrape the hell out of my eyes. So we don't do that anymore. Okay, I'm putting bronzer underneath my eyeball. Mascara under the eyes as well. My favorite part is getting mascara on the eyelid. It's really convenient. Here's a little trick for you. If you have mascara on your lid, like me, just get a spoolie with nothing on it. And if you go and let it dry and then come back, 
takes it right off. I'm gonna recurl my lashes to see what these bad boys can really do. I know some of you guys say, oh my god, you're not supposed to like curl them after you put mascara on. But I'm gonna keep doing it. So it's silly me, I forgot to fill in my eyebrows. I don't know who I think I am. It's 2.32. So pretty much makeup is done, thank goodness. Watch how more put together I look after I put this lip on. Let me grab it. So recently I have been loving um, Kim K's products. Well, lip products. I can't say anything for the rest of them because I haven't tried them yet. But I love her lippies. I don't know why I was sleeping on them before, but I was. Also, I used this NYX lip liner and this is in Nude Truffle. Absolutely love it. I go in with four and it's darker but it is like the perfect brown boom there you go little fall moment last thing last um highlighter duh so this is the makeup done um super simple super easy how long did that even take me it's 243 so it took me like 43 minutes i have to do my hair super fast i was going to curl my hair but i just feel like just feel like i don't really have time to do that to be honest with you I'm straightening my hair now, trying to think in my head some outfits that I can put together. I know I have a skirt, and I kind of want to try to do like a skirt moment with like a band tee or something. Maybe like my vans. I don't know. I have Pinterest pulled up here. Pinterest is like my go-to when doing things like this. Okay. Amazing. Perfect. Let's do this. This is what I have on right now. I still have the tags on everything. These pants are from H&M. They're like um, brown leathery pants as well as this belt. I have this tank top on with it, so I think I'm going to pair this with these boots. So we will definitely need these guys. I need my blazers too. It's like when we take pictures, we go all out, you guys. We like put together a shit ton of outfits and we trick you guys into thinking that we took these pictures all in different days, but really we did it all in one day, so. Okay right, guys, I just got everything packed. Here's the bag I'm taking. Um, this is the final look for outfit number one. So I did put those boots on with it. Um, this belt, these pants, tank top, a little cardigan moment. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I got everything. I did put some like gold jewelry on, just like the basic jewelry I wear all the time. Um, this blessed necklace, and then I have a little choker under here, and then of course hoops because I always wear hoops. I'm also bringing a couple pairs of sunglasses, just to use them for like props in my pictures because having a prop in your photos. Something to like play with while taking pictures just makes your life 10 times easier. Boom, I think, I think I'm off to Maddie's house. Alright, this All right. is location number two. This is the fit that we've got going. And I'm gonna get up here and we're gonna take some pics. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's not too much to ask for. garage typical but you know what they make for good pictures you should be able to see me from there so here we go taking way too long now I'm annoyed I don't really care to make this work that's a wrap that's a wrap I'm not being rude that's all it takes. All right, you guys. So I just got home. Finished up with um, taking pictures for the Instagram. I'm going to leave my Instagram right here. Feel free to go follow to see how the pictures turned out. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below and join the Wit Fam. Stick around if you want to see more content from me. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. The girl she expected the world, but it flew away from a reef.